Now, no, eight miners rescued from Chile are in good health after seeing the surface for the first time in 69 days. This is a live look at the rescue operation. This is the ninth miner who's been brought to the surface. Again, they're wearing those sunglasses to protect their eyes after being underground for uh, more than two months. Uh, there's been a long process of pulling those miners up. Lindsay Scheibel is live in the newsroom with the latest on their rescue in our breaking news center. Lindsay, good morning. Hey, good morning. This is Mario Gomez. He is 62 years old. He apparently has told us that his wife, the last day he went to work before all of this happened, that before he left, she asked him to sign his resignation from mining. She did not want him to go. And Mario also was claustrophobic, so they sent down a special oxygen mask with him in this capsule so he could come up more safely. And as you can see, he is up, he is safe, the sunglasses to protect him. He's now going to be getting some kind of medical help, and they have all been cleared. The first eight have been cleared medically as being okay. They've said that. They're looking for things like ringworm, like jock itch, like athlete's foot. Of course, the mental trauma from the experience that they have endured. But so far, nobody has needed any kind of special medication, not even the diabetic among them. One of them, men down there, is 46 years old, is diabetic. There's the reunion with one of his family members. Again, his wife asking him to resign before any of this started. Imagine the 69 days they have endured since August 5th when this mine collapsed. Krista. They gave us back our lives. It's incredible that there we were down 700 meters and they and they recovered us. We put a, we did a little on our side. We used our miners hearts. We used our experience as miners, but everything else the professionals are the ones who contributed. Let's go back and take a live look now as Mario Gomez, the ninth miner to be pulled up, is praying, holding the Chilean flag. You can imagine how grateful and happy he feels to be out after 69 days trapped underground, hugging his wife again. They're going to continue until Thursday morning, until all of them are out, but they think it's going to take until Thursday morning until every single miner is out from this 2,000 feet underground where they've been trapped since August 5th. Krista Curtis. Hey, Lindsay, I know you've been watching the same thing we've, as we stay live here at the scene, but this, uh, his wife, this woman, walked up, and she was a very strong individual, and she was solid, and she was taking pictures. And as that capsule rose, you could see her start to break down. And by the time he reached the surface, she was wiping away tears, her smile had left, and suddenly the moment just sort of overcome, ov overcame her. But this is the scene live as the ninth miner is brought to the surface this morning. We continue to monitor this for you, streaming it live on our website to make it easy for you as well. Uh, it is not hard to find coverage of this event this morning. This rescue expected to last through tomorrow morning. It takes about an hour to get each of those miners up.